Wednesday, January the 15th, 2019, about 9.30 in the morning. I've still got my morning face on. Okay, we are leaving the fairgrounds. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Going to the beach to rescue some... Sea hares. Sea hares. I have never heard of these things, uh, but we've got to follow our tradition of rescuing animals every time we come down to the Manatee County Fair. What was it? It was a uh, blue herring the first time, and then it was a... Uh, Pelican, yeah, right? Pelican. Yeah, pelican. It's been a bird both times, so this time it's going to be sea hares. Liz is with us, and we've got Clancy in Montana there. So these are sea hares. They're sick right now because they, they're all dry. Yeah, they, they look like a little squid. Oh, okay. You have them in the deep water. You gotta say, so they, they for some reason got confused and beached themselves during the tide. And they've been doing that. So you gotta put them out. Oh, that water's cold. You gotta pull them out in the deep water. And then, what happens? They take a minute to wake up. They start like fluttering like little butterflies. They look like little rocks. I would not have thought. Let's see if he inks. They have like a red ink that they'll shoot out sometimes. There we go, you can see his like, little wings opening. Yeah. A little bit there. There it goes. There you go. This is the grandpa one. Okay. I found him yesterday, but he's not doing so hot. He's not. Well, okay, they, they feel like squid. Like large snails. Yeah, they're slugs. Large slugs. But they swim. But see, compared to this guy, he's really big. You said this one's called a Grandpa. Oh, we called him Grandpa because he's yeah. the biggest one we found. Yeah. He looks pretty old. Oh, oh, oh dear, he's he he just fell into the hole. Oh, you swim, you swim. You know how to swim. You're a good swimmer. You're a good swimmer. You're a good swimmer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Thirteen-year-old, thirteen-year-old Boggle fell in underwater hole. <laughs> I'm sorry, big guy. Okay. He's like, I'm done now. <laughs> He's like, get me back to the shore. I want to go back to the shore now. <laughs> uh, all right, Grandpa, let's get you back in the water here. That's a tiny little one. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. You can kind of see it there. They have a, a red ink that is toxic most of the time, but to humans, it's basically a mild irritant. You don't want to get it, a lot of it on your hands if you don't have to. There's a huge one! Oh my goodness, you found another grandpa. This is grandpa. Is he moving at all? Or yeah, she? Yep. Oh, I see a little movement there. Oh, there it comes. So the ink coming out? Yep. Oh, it's purple this time. Yeah, it's between purple and red. Sometimes it's green and blue. Depends on the type of them. These are spotted, so it's usually red or purple. Yeah, you can definitely see it there. Sometimes it's a dark red and it really looks like blood. So when you showed me that first video, I was kind of freaked out. I'm like, what, are they bleeding? Yeah. No, it's just their ink. They're, the, the purple is pretty, though. Yeah. Oh, it's moving. It's definitely moving. It started to close up as soon as I touched it. It's a little, little baby. Little baby one.
Welch or Welk. No. We're gonna have to ask Aiden. But it's definitely got that. It's it's alive and it's got that little trap door thing firmly in place. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see him pulling in. Very cool. So that's the hole we put the, the purple inking one in. Ooh, wow, look at that. What is it? Just how much is coming out of her. Wow, that is a lot. Yeah, look at her cute little Oh my god, she's so adorable. She's uh, stressed right now. But we're trying to help her. How, how does she still have more ink? <laughs> how much, much is in your body? In there? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, there we go. We actually see one swimming now. So you kind of get an idea of the way we were saying they look like little butterflies. Is that you think that's one we rescued? Yes, absolutely. My goodness. I didn't even know these things were out here. That is so cute. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to go back up to the shore, though. I just think it's really dumb. <laughs> Cute, but incredibly dumb. I think it's looking for something to eat. Maybe. They are bottom feeders, after all. Who came up with the name Sea like Hair? I guess. Just gonna go right under you. <laughs> have to be a lot of imagination to think of this as a, as a hair, though. It's more like a butterfly. Yeah. It's like a slug of butterfly wings yeah. in the water. Okay, at least, at least uh, it's going back out to sea instead of getting closer to the shore. Okay, starting to, starting to figure it out now. All right, I didn't bring my waterproof camera so I can't get the underwater shot, but this is gonna be the first jump into the ocean of the year. that point where I've got to go buy my ride company ID so I'm gonna have to go beardless for at least three weeks here we go this twice a year. Once to buy the ID and then again to work the Strawberry Festival in Plant City. <sighs> Sucks. I look like a plucked chicken. I do not like going beardless. Give me your opinions guys. Put it down in the comment section. Nestor's reaction to seeing me without, without a beard. Oh, Nestor. What do you think? I don't know, it's a little freaky, isn't it? Oh, you seem to be pretty chill with it. You've seen me without a beard before. <laughs> oh, this is the way my ID is gonna look, huh? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, you ready? 
All right, just got done with the uh, admissions office. Bought it. Uh, it's uh, only $40 if you get it now instead of waiting until Plant City Strawberry Festival. That's why, that's why I wanted to go ahead and get it now for the savings. Was it really worth cutting the beard off? Hopefully. Ashley, is there anybody that you want to see today? Uh, Aiden and Lou. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hey guys! Are they here? Yeah! <laughs> Aiden and Luke are here? They're here! Oh! Surprise! Oh, hello, hello. Look at us. Surprise! What's up? <laughs> All right! Okay. Oh, wow, that was the first answer I gave, but you asked me that. I said, what do you want to see today? Was Aiden and Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Wow! Uh, well, thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah, awesome. We are we are doing Pan Asian today. Uh, it's a, what's the place called? The Stone Stone and Bowl. Bowl. As as the sun sets, the Florida sun sets in the distance. We we go in for our Pan Asian. <laughs> what was that? Magic. Uh, Even with magic. This does not feel right. I keep feeling my breath and wind on my oh, chin, and it's just like, oh, I don't, something's missing. Are you in line? We're in line. Okay, good. Oh, you're talking to Danielle? Yeah. Um, do you want to meet us out for some food when you're done? Uh, that, that came out still soon. They roll up with that boat, go <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Ground beef. <laughs> oh, and what did you get, Lyle? A wakiki roll. It's coconut shrimp, mango, mango sauce, delicious sauce. Hey, girl. And I got the sampler. Your food's that's right here. Oh, that's not yours. Oh. <laughs> yours is next. Yeah, <laughs> and Danielle uh, has arrived. Uh, <laughs> Danielle. Run to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, is that Danielle's right there? Yeah. What did you get for her? She got the katsu chicken. Katsu chicken. Mm -hmm. Since we know each other, you know, right. Yeah, so... Yeah. 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 Yeah.